this is Air Potato, and then we're going to give you something that we think you can take to your classroom uh, to work with your science students uh, to show them how uh, insect herbivores uh, can control plants. Most simplest is what we're going to do here in a minute today. It's just you take half your plants and put beetles on them. You take another half of the plants, leave them without beetles, put the beetles on, wait a week or so, and then you can measure your plants. That's exactly what we're going to do today. And I'm going to give each group is going to get a, a control plant and a treatment plant. The control plant didn't, doesn't have any insects on it. The treatment plant has had four insects feeding on it for one week. We're going to measure the height of the plants, and then you're going to cut the plant right at ground level and we've got two scales back there, and you're going to weigh that all the leaves and stems together. And then we're going to put all that data together and see if it makes sense. We're just going to see on average whether the beetles decrease the weight of the plants or not. We've got our averages, and the controls on average were about 44 grams, and the ones with beetles on average were about 31 grams. So about a 10, 12 gram average uh, difference between the uh, control plants and the plants with beetles. So does biocontrol work? Yes! For anybody that wants to do this, I think we would be more than happy to help you get bulbils if you can't find a source. I think this, this experiment or demonstration that you do with your students can be tailored to different ages of students. Thank you very much. Thank okay. You. Thanks for coming.